How's it going, everybody? Good? Look at where you guys are sitting right now. It's pretty cool, huh? Good. My name is Sam, my name is Sam Cass. I uh, work with the First Lady on Let's Move. You guys got some really nice t-shirts there. I need to get myself one of those. Um, right now, do you know you're in a room where Abraham Lincoln has been, where Kennedy has been, where all of the great American presidents have had dinner in and had parties and had meetings? It's pretty amazing, right? Yes. Who is this the first time they've been in the White House? Nice. Who's been here before? Wow, you guys are lucky. Yeah, I guess we've got a couple. This is not your first ring, right? Um, so we have a really exciting day where we get to hear from some of the greatest athletes on earth. That's pretty, pretty great, huh? We, are, we get to see both from, from the great teams of, of soccer and of hockey. So I want to give a chance to everybody to introduce themselves. And then we're going to get a chance to, we'll ask some questions. And then I want you guys to be thinking of some questions. And we're going to have just a great conversation. Does that sound OK? So this doesn't happen very often where you get to talk to some of the greatest athletes in the world, right? So let's think of some really great questions for them, OK? Deal? All right. You guys want to start? Yeah, I'll start. Um, we're, uh, we're from the LA Galaxy, the soccer team. Um, we just want to say thank you for having us. Thanks to all you guys for showing up today. And um, hopefully we can help inform you guys a little bit about what makes us go and how we're able to run around the field for 90 minutes. So my name's Landon Donovan. Um, and I'll pass it over this way to Mike. I'm Mike McGee. It's nice to meet you guys. Thank you very much for having us. And I'm Todd Donovan. Yeah, what, what positions? Uh, I'm a defender. I'm a midfielder and try to play forward as much as I can. <laughs> I'm the same as Mike, a midfielder, but like to play forward. Good deal. All right. To our hockey team. Hi, I'm uh, Dustin Brown, uh, the LA Kings, and uh, I play right wing. Um, I try to score some goals, um, and uh, I just want to thank everyone uh, for having us. Rob Scuderi, defenseman for the Los Angeles Kings. Um, obviously, stay back. Try to prevent the other team from scoring. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Jonathan Quick. I'm the goalie for the Los Angeles Kings. Goalie, that's a serious position. All right, so why Not don't really. we start by, real quickly, I want to know your favorite exercise and the favorite healthy snack that you like to eat. Tom, you want to start? Yeah, um, well, it's kind of my favorite and my least favorite, but I like running. Um, I just don't like running too much, <laughs> but um, running is fun, and it's a good, relatively easy way to stay in good shape, so I enjoy it. My favorite healthy snack is avocados. So my favorite exercise is definitely uh, just push-ups and sit-ups because it's easy and don't need too much equipment for that. And then I don't have to be running, so that's always nice. <laughs> and then uh, my favorite healthy snack is probably uh, grapes. Who likes grapes? That's what I'm talking about. We got some grape eaters in here. <laughs> Red or green? Red or green, Mike. Um, my favorite exercise is uh, also sit-ups. Uh, it's important to have a good core as a soccer player so you can move around and have a good base. And then uh, my favorite food, my favorite healthy snack is, is definitely berries, like all kinds of berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. Mm. Berry-like? Who likes berries? Wow, we have more grape eaters than berry eaters. Telling. Okay. Uh, being on the ice uh, a lot, I try to stay off the ice. My Probably my favorite exercise is just to do something different is racquetball. And uh, kind of along the lines of the last few, any, any fruit is my favorite uh, snack, whether it's early in the morning or late at night. Um, for me, obviously, uh, kind of like Dustin said, we play hockey a lot. So uh, skating is a great exercise. But I think besides that, uh, I like to play tennis in the off season. Um, I think my favorite snack, I also like fruit, but uh, just to be different, I also like Greek yogurt. <laughs> um, like these two, I think uh, not necessarily an exercise, just playing sports in general I enjoy, uh, whether it's basketball, soccer, football, anything. And my favorite healthy snack is uh, granola bar. 
Who likes granola bars? Yeah, that's a winner in this crowd. Um, so Todd, tell me why it's uh, important to eat, to eat healthy. Like, how does that impact, how does that impact your performance? Well, I think we've realized as we become professional athletes and we do this for a living that you, what you put on your, in your body is, is everything. It gives you fuel, it gives you uh, kind of your lifeblood to, to play the sport that you love. So we're so lucky to be able to play sports for a living and, and play soccer every day. It's, uh, it's incredible and, and in order to do that we have to eat well, we have to make sure we have a good breakfast because we always train in the morning. Um, and that's everything to us. If we don't eat well, then suddenly we're tired in the, in the games and in practices and we don't play well and we lose our job. So that's not a good thing. So it's, uh, it's kind of the foundation for everything we do. Would everybody agree with that on the panel? Absolutely. How many people here eat breakfast every day? It's so important. Oh, we got some. How, breakfast gets you off to the right start, right? Without a good breakfast, everything is downhill. Don't you feel the same way when you're on the field? Yeah, I definitely feel the same way. I think I notice a big difference of days when I'm eating cookies and cake before I play and realize that that's, that's a big mistake. So on days when I'm eating well, grapes and fruit and, um, you know, fueling foods is, is definitely, definitely much better for me. You guys hear that? All these athletes say it's absolutely critical to perform to have a good breakfast. Without that, they're not going to perform well. The same is true in school. If you don't get a good breakfast, if you don't get a good lunch, your ability to learn is just going to go down. Right? Everybody feel that? You guys know that, right? You can feel that every day. So and did anybody, when they were young, not eat very healthy? Let's admit it. Mm -hmm. All right, which one of you wants to say, what, what happened? What made you want to change the way you, you ate? No, I think in, in general, like as you're growing up, there's, there's going to be times where you don't eat the best things, and, and that's OK. Um, as long as it's on a limited basis. But um, once you get into where we are in professional athletics, you're open to much more information. You find out how much uh, good food can do for you, for your brain, and for your body. And I, I think overall, when you learn it and then you uh, try to incorporate that into your life, you see the results. All right. I'm going to ask two more questions now, and then I'm going to kick it to you guys. So you guys are thinking about questions, right? Yeah, OK. So maybe we'll take one from each side. Tell me what was the greatest, Landon, why don't you tell me what your greatest professional moment was? What was the greatest accomplishment you've had? Um, well, in soccer, the, I guess the pinnacle for us is to uh, either win a championship um, or play in a World Cup. And for me, I've been very fortunate um, with these guys next to me. We've had the chance to win now two championships in a row, um, which this ring shows. It's a nice ring, right? Um, and then we've also had the opportunity to play for our national team and play in World Cups, um, which is very special. So those would be my greatest achievements, um, things I'm most proud of. And growing up, that was sort of all I ever wanted to do. And um, to be able to now sit here and explain that to you guys is great. Um, what about you? What's your, what's your greatest professional achievement? Uh, I think uh, from, ho from a hockey player standpoint, um, when you're five or six years old, you're playing street hockey in the, in, in the road, and um, it's always game seven in the Stanley Cup Finals, and um, uh, the three of us last year had the opportunity to lift that big trophy we're ahead, and um, that is the, uh, definitely the apex of, of the game we play, and uh, Scuds has won it twice, so um, hopefully we can do it again. That's great. So then I asked this to anybody on each, each side. Was there ever a moment that you thought it was too hard, that you thought about quitting and giving up because you just didn't think you were going to make it? Well, we were actually here last year for the same thing, uh, winning our championship. But at that point in our season, uh, I think we were in last place overall in the league. And... We were excited to be here celebrating and all that, but we were also there's kind of a sour mood in the group because we were in last place and we didn't weren't playing well and just something wasn't right. And uh, I think after we came here, we kind of put the championship to bed and, and sort of got onto the business of playing for each other again and winning and um, working hard for each other. We kind of forgot that. And once we started doing that, things started to work again for us. Bounces started to go our way. We kind of got the luck back and um, and 
by the end of the year we were we were towards the top of the league and got a chance to win the championship again so uh it doesn't always start off so great but you, we fought through it and uh ended up champions the teamwork is key in that exactly Being there for your teammates so what about personally anybody here personally didn't think you know you were trying you were trying and you know everything you did wasn't working out and you thought you may have to give up yeah i think anyone that uh plays a sport goes through that goes through ups and downs and you're gonna have stretches where you play really well and you're gonna have stretches where you're not playing so well so I think the biggest thing is just sticking with it and keep working hard and you know the harder you work usually it ends up working out for you so look at look at these look at these guys right now you know all of them and myself included have been through times where we thought you know it's just too hard I just can't do this and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give up but they didn't. They work together. They persevere. And look where they're sitting right now. Pretty amazing, right? How many times have everybody in this room felt like something was too hard and they just were going to just give up? Right? Everybody, everybody feels that. But they are a great example of why you just can never, ever give up. And you've got to keep trying, especially in school, much more important than in sports. Right? 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 OK. All right, so let's hear some questions. Who's got a question for us? Yes. Hold on, wait for the mic to come up to you. There you go. Oh, do you have any other hobbies? Who's got another hobby? I know one of you guys has a weird hobby that we all would love to know about. Um, I have an, I guess, interesting, well, not kind of interesting. Um, I have two beautiful dogs at home, and so when you play a sport for a living, um, it's nice to get away and do different things. So. We're fortunate in Los Angeles, um, not like the cold weather is here. We have some sunny, warm weather most of the time, and so I like to walk my dogs along the beach, and that's another great exercise that I love doing that's easy. I don't even think about it, but at the same time, I'm exercising, and it makes me very happy. Uh, for me, uh, kind of along the favorite exercise thing is uh, we're on the ice a lot playing hockey, and um, that's our passion in life. But uh, in the off season, just playing other sports. Uh, most of us are, grew up, you know, multiple sport athletes. And for me, uh, racquetball, tennis, um, and I got three little boys right now. So, t-ball and anything, pretty much with a ball is pretty fun. That's a full-time hobby right there. Three little boys. All right, who else got a question? Yes. Wait for the mic. Wait for the mic. My name is Kimani, and how many hours a day do you practice? Great question. Uh, we practice for about probably an hour and a half uh, soccer a day, um, which may not seem like that that long. But you know, when we were your age, we were probably training for three hours. But we also hit the gym every day and try to do some uh, like extra work after practice, whether it be running or, like I was saying before, sit-ups and push-ups. But um, yeah, it's about an hour, hour and a half of soccer. Hour and a half of soccer, another hour and a half probably working out, and then some extra things on top of that. So. Three to four hours minimum every day? Exactly, yeah. Every day. That's a lot, right? What about on the hockey side? And in hockey, it's a little different. I think it's, um, for us, we might be on the ice for maybe 45 minutes to an hour, 15 minutes tops. Um, you know, we're playing pretty much every other day. But uh, we're also in the gym maybe, you know, 30 to 45 minutes afterwards. And, um, you know, after that, there might be some video sessions and stuff like that. So it's... Uh, you know, probably the same amount of time, just maybe doing slightly different things. Because to play sports, you need not just to be physical, but you also need to be smart, right? You have to study the game and study the other teams. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just like starting for a test. You know, you have to be prepared for, for when that moment comes. And then, um, you know, when it comes, it's not that scary. You're ready for it. That's right. That's a great point. Who else? You in the back. Yeah, you. Hold on, wait for the mic. <laughs> have you always liked sports when you were little, or did you, like, just like something else and then got interested in sports? That's a great question. If everybody didn't hear it, the question is, do you guys always love sports or is it something that you liked more when you got older? Um, I think it's uh, something you grow up doing. Uh, I think when I was five years old, I started playing hockey. I was playing football. I was playing baseball. Um, and then also the, the street I grew up on, I had a bunch of kids my age, so I, even after we'd go, go to practice for any one of those sports, we'd come home and play street hockey, we'd play other sports, and just, just to stay busy and have fun. Everybody would agree with that, huh? Yeah, we were, uh, you know, where I, where I grew up, 
I had an older brother, older sister, and we competed all the time for everything. So if it wasn't in sports, it was to see who could, you know, if we were taking a road trip, we would see who could put their hand, you know, in front of the car to see who gets in the state first or, you know, whatever it was, we'd turn everything into a game, always be competing and um, something I've always done and, uh, you know, I've always enjoyed. What would, uh, and anybody feel free to take this, what would you say to the, to the young person here in the audience or out across the country who's, you know, wants to play, who's trying really hard, but maybe is getting bullied or picked on and feels discouraged and doesn't, doesn't feel like they want to necessarily play? Anybody want to take that? I can take that. Yeah, go ahead. Um, well, you guys don't realize it, but you're growing up in a little bit of a different time than we grew up, um, where you have more access to lots of different things. Like I see a lot of you with cameras, phones, um, all these things at a young age, computer and stuff like that. So you guys have to make a conscious effort to go out and do things. Um, and I think when you go out and do things, you realize, and we realize this as soccer players, we play with people from all parts of the world. And so growing up, when I would go outside, I met people from all parts of the world with all different backgrounds, all different abilities, and sometimes disabilities. Um, and you realize when you play and you do something you love, that we're all the same, and we're all equal in that way. And so um, if you're sitting in front of your phone or your computer all day, those opportunities don't come to you. But you get outside and play, you can see there's a lot more to life and a lot more to the world. And it's important to make sure we're always including our friends and everybody in our community, right, to be a part of what we're doing. Um, my man right here. I'll come over here in one second. Just for the hockey players, did y'all ever get in a fight before? <laughs> I have. Um, but they regret every second of it. I mean, I have. It, it happens. It's um, not something you try to script as part of the game, but you know, sometimes your emotions run high, and, and it's, um, you know, like I said, it happens. Yeah. But it's not, it's not what we support. We, we want, n not for you guys. Right, no fisticuffs out there in the crowd. I'm a goalie, so very rarely do goalies get into fights. It's usually these guys protecting us, so <laughs> I've never been in one. Yeah, there you go. All right, yes. How long have um, you been playing hockey or soccer? Well, I've been, um, myself, I've been playing since I was six years old. I think most of us probably picked up the game about the same time. You learn to skate first, and then uh, shortly after that, if you, if you like it and if you, you have a, a general feel for it, then um, I was lucky where my parents had the money to, to get me involved in the sport, and I've been playing ever since. You guys are playing all your life too, huh? That's how it goes. See, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. I played through college dreaming, but I never got to make it where these guys are. But we, we're doing okay. Who else got a question? How about you? I like all these questions. These are great questions, guys. How hard is it to wake up every morning and uh, like fall asleep way after the afternoon? How hard is it to get up after playing so hard? Is that what you mean? Yes. Is it hard to wake up? Is it hard to fall asleep? Uh, so you're saying after training? Yeah, you're saying maybe after a game, is it hard to go to sleep? Are you really energized or are you really tired? So is it hard to get out of bed? After games, it's, it's usually really hard, really hard to go to sleep. And then some days our coach is um, a bit of a meanie and makes us, makes us come in the next morning really early. So those <laughs> days sometimes are, are really hard to uh, – <laughs> he's sitting right over there, by the way. But, uh, you know, those, those next mornings sometimes it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's difficult. But, you know, obviously we got, we got a good group of guys and – um, you know, a good regimen that, you know, kind of keeps us, keeps us in order and gets us, gets us to wake up and gets us motivated. How about you over here in the back? Yeah. How you, how do you get instead? Um, <laughs> it's okay. Instead, I forgot the word. Instead. Interested? Interested in yeah. playing soccer. That's a great question. How did you guys get interested in playing soccer? What, ins what inspired you to want to play? I think that's a brilliant question. Um, yeah, again, it goes back to my siblings. I had an older brother who played soccer, and uh, I kind of followed in his footsteps. He was six years older than me, and I wanted to do everything that he did, and I wanted to beat him in everything he did. 
Well, I, think I usually okay. didn't. He doesn't have a ring, does he? <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, no, but it, it was always a competition for us, and, and it was uh, like a good sibling rivalry, and it kind of made us both better because we were always competing and always going against each other. So anything he did, I wanted to do. Are you a soccer player? Nice. Well, here's some inspiration, right? All right, who's else got a question? Let's, you. Was it hard for you guys to kick your way up to the top? <laughs> Was it hard? Was it free sailing? Obviously, it's uh, very difficult. There's uh, so many good athletes and good players in each sport, and um, you need to get a, a lot of luck, and you got to work really hard in order to even to come close. Same way, right? Nothing comes easy to make it where you are. That's true for everything, be it athlete, be it a chef, be it the President of the United States, or your teachers, or your parents. It all takes nothing but hard work. Who else? And for students too, right? Yes. Hold on, wait for a mic. What state do you came from? What state? You guys want to say where you're from? Um, I'm from New York. I'm from New York as well. Wow, two New Yorkers. I'm from Connecticut. Um, I'll make this easy. I'm from California. Mike is from Illinois, and Todd is from Colorado. Nice. I'm from Chicago. That's. <laughs> thank you very much. We have to represent Chicago. Yes, you in the back. <laughs> I know it is a state unto itself. My man in the back. What do you have to say? Have the soccer players ever gotten in a fight? <laughs> Say no. Um, no, I don't think so. Say no. <laughs> no, we don't resort to that violence. <laughs> That's right. They sometimes flop and pretend, you know, like they hold their knee or. But no fighting. Who, who else? Yes, you. Yeah. What were you guys' favorite sports when you guys were young? Favorite sports? Not favorite sports. Favorite, um, uh, favorite like play Eng English. Favorite player? No, favorite subject, sorry. Oh, favorite subject. Much better question. I love that question. What were your favorite subjects in school? Uh, I would definitely take math. I don't know. For some reason, Who likes it just math? seemed to click. Look at all my math students. All right. Uh, I, I tended uh, to like history. Um, the stuff when you can have an opinion on stuff because math, uh, you're either right or you're wrong. <laughs> Whereas a lot of the other subjects, you can uh, maybe argue yourself right. and do a good. Who grade. likes history? Wow! All right, come on, yeah, I'm a history guy. All right. I'm like Rob here. I like math, science too. Math, math, science. Who likes science? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. My favorite class was a uh, gym class. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes gym? That, me, too. That's what I'm talking about. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a math guy also, but also uh, in, like, business, so economics. That's good. Um, I, I enjoyed math, too. I liked math. Wow, all right. Kind of a lot boring. of math, folks. All right, who else? Yes, sir. Were you nervous on your first game? It's a great question. Were you guys nervous? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, especially you're uh, the new guy on the team, and you really don't know too many guys, so you're just trying to play as well as you can, so you could stay on the team. Right. You guys get nervous on your first day? Yeah, I think um, nerves are a part of, can be a part of sports, and can be a part of anything you do. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the more you sort of know yourself and know what you enjoy and love, then the easier it becomes, and you can get through those nerves. Who here gets nervous like before a big test? Before a big test? Or on your first day of school? Who got nervous on your first day of school? I was nervous as can be. All right. Who else? Who's got a question? You in the front. What was your hardest opponent? Ooh, yeah. Who's was the hardest team or, or competitor that you guys have faced? Um. I think uh, for me, I'm not sure if you guys are all that familiar with the NHL, but there's um, 
a player in the Red Wings called Pavel Datsuk, and he's extremely talented. He's, um, and he's always been very difficult to play. And uh, as far as a team, probably the best team I played against, I was in Pittsburgh a few years ago in the in the 07, 08 season. I'd say the Detroit Red Wings, probably the hardest team I've ever had to play. <laughs> a couple of Detroiters over there. Pipe down. <laughs> what about you guys? Uh, I, I grew up idolizing Zinedine Zidane. You guys know who he is? Yeah. Guy that did the headbutt in the World yeah. Cup. <laughs> no, they, he, they weren't born yet. Yeah. But. <laughs> he did a lot more than that. He's famous for that. But uh, he he was by far the best player I ever played against. Nice. That's a good question. Yes, you. Yep. My name is Jordan. I'm from DC Scores. At DC Scores, our values are teamwork, leadership, and commitment. What are your values as a team? Nice. DC Scores is a great program that, that helps you play soccer, right? With DC Scores, they do a great job. What's a core, what is a core value or a core principle that has guided you guys through? Uh, I think for, for us here in the Kings organization, uh, especially after the last couple of years, um, uh, my, uh, the best way to describe it is we become a family. Um, we really care for each other on and off the ice. and. Um, when you have that type of camaraderie and um, that commitment to each other, it makes it really easy to go on the ice and, and do what's necessary to win and also to you know, be there for each other um, off the ice when uh, things aren't going well. And, um, we've really become a tight-knit family. Yeah, I will kind of echo that from our standpoint. Um, we, we realize in sports that if you don't get along well and if you don't, um, cooperate and aren't a team that you don't have as good a chance of winning so it's very rare in any sport in any company in schools in classrooms it's very rare that you see successful people that don't work as a team and don't do things together so um, I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to show what teamwork can do and what you've seen from these guys I'm gonna I want to show you guys this because it's a it's a symbol of what teamwork can do, and I'm going to pass it around, but I want you guys to remember there's a lot of security here, so <laughs> if you try to steal it, we will find and, you, and but I want to pass this around so you guys can have a real example of what it means to be a team and what can happen, okay? Hold wow, on. that's a big deal. Take care of that ring, and security is watching you, and they're not very nice. In the back. Who inspired you to, um, like... Do hockey and soccer. Like, who, 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 was, who was the, who inspired you? Uh, for me personally, uh, I got a brother that's two and a half years older, and um, it's the brotherly uh, rival, uh, always competing against him. So uh, he started playing hockey a couple years before me, and um, that's how I got into it. And uh, every everything he did, uh, having an older brother, you just want to be like him. So. Uh, I followed in his footsteps. Nice. Who's got another question? You. Yep. What was your most memorable game? Is there one game that stands out? Um, I think last year when game six of the Stanley Cup Finals was my most memorable game because it was the first time I was able to win the Stanley Cup with these guys. Um, so that was pretty special for me and all the guys that were a part of it. Anybody? My, my most memorable game happened uh, two years ago. It was a game in which I don't play goalie like uh, Mr. Quick over there, but there was a game where uh, our first goalie got a red card, and then the guy who subbed in for him broke his arm, and then I went in the goal. <laughs> and believe it or not, um, they didn't score on me, so it worked out, worked out nice. I was about to say, it must have been some good defense, huh? What do you think? No, it, was, it was the goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Over there in the back. Yep. That's pretty memorable, man. That's solid. How hard was it for your first game? How hard was it? Like, how hard was it to, you know, just get out there and perform? Just to make. To be with the team? Was it hard to be with the team on your first game, like becoming a new member of, of a team and trying to break in? And 
or was that just easy and people just took you in? It's, it's kind of like a question I think one of the yeah. young, younger people asked before, but it's, uh, no, it's, it's hard. You're, you're on a new team, you're in a new group, and you're trying to prove yourself and prove that you belong. Um, you know, but it's also something that you love to do, so you, you try to work past the nervousness and um, do the things that you've done to prepare for those moments. Great. All right, let's just take a couple more. How about you right here in the front? Yeah? I don't know what to say. You don't know what to say? What were you thinking? It's okay. Take a deep breath. You're good. What were you thinking? Who, who inspired you to uh, play, play the sport you do now? Well, anybody else got one? Uh, my, my dad was the one who inspired me on and off the field, and I think he, uh, you know, he was, a, he was a great role model and example for me just due to how, how hard he worked, um, you know, at his job and then would always come home and find time to, uh, you know, play soccer with me or basketball or, or, or whatever it was. He just took, took the little time he had out of work and, you know, spent it, spent it playing with me. All right. If you guys had one lesson to give, one piece of advice to these future, you know, teachers and athletes and presidents and business leaders, what would it be? Um, I guess I would say that, you know, we're, we're all very fortunate to be professional athletes up here, but all the things that we're talking about will help you in your life, whether you make it in athletics or education or whatever it happens to be. All, those, all the hard work and preparation and the things you do in your life growing up will help you in life no matter what you cho choose to do. Yeah, just echoing that, I would say follow your passion. Do whatever you love and uh, find out what that is. You might not know now. Uh, but so try a lot of things. Um, but once you find out what you do, practice it as much as you can and try and be the best at it as you can. And the best way to do that, too, is to watch people who are really good at it and try and follow what they do. So whatever that is, and whether it's school or music or art, um, follow your passion. All right, well, I think we've got three takeaways here. One, we have to eat healthy because you see it helps their performance, right? Right? Yes. Two, we have to get a lot of exercise because none of these folks would perform like they did with a lot of exercise. Is that right? Which means playing and running around. And three, you have to work really hard in school and listen to your parents and to your teachers who are trying to help you out. Is that right? Yes. Right? Yes. All right. Where's that ring? All right, that may, ring will make it around. Listen, guys, thank you guys so much for coming. Can we give it up for these amazing <laughs> leaders right up here? So keep passing that ring carefully. I think you're going to stick around just a little bit and say hello to everybody. Um, but thank you guys. We're so proud of you. President First Lady, love you and want you guys to do great. So keep working hard, okay?